PBS the finest presidential house. It tells you that we have good products to sell. But God says you cannot get everybody to be the president. So all the fine brains will then come together. But it's the way we carry ourselves, the way we do things. As President Kufuor said, we must manage and manage you so that the 2008 replication will not repeat itself. So whoever that emerges must have the support of the person in the way he treats others. No disrespect, mutual respect, code of conduct, we follow, we do whatever we have to do. And I believe all those who are aspiring to be flag bearers are men of integrity, people who have supported the party. But you see, it's only one person that God will choose. And it's only God who knows who will choose. But me, my support for Dr. Baumia is not because my late father wanted to see him at a point. I see the vice president within the shortest period of time has been able to be a force of recon for this country. He has moved the country as a vice president. He's done a lot. He, he has the vision to do more with the support of the president and has carried himself as a vice president and obviously to administration of everybody. Very competent. Because we need, I'm not saying all the other people who are contested are not competent, but a vice president at least can lead Ghana to the promised land. And I believe that all the other contestants have that capacity, but God will choose one. And I believe that Dr. Baumias is somebody who stands tall. In the last 16 years, everything is about Baumia, even those who don't like him are speaking about Baumia. So Baumia is a false record. And I believe that he would bring everybody together, inshallah, if God crowns him. The, 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 the flag bearer. He is a very gentleman, a good listener. You obviously need the support of Honorable Kojo Chiamanti, Dr. Apreku, or you need Kunedu Kennedy Japan. You need because they are all forces to record. We want to break the eight. And I'm supporting Dr. Baumia because with Dr. Baumia, we will be able to bring that unity and that gap, and everybody will feel uh, one and will be united. Both. Uh, uh, the north, the south, the east, the west will be united around. Dr. But, but, but what do you say to people who say that, well, like I said earlier, yeah. he came to meet Alan Chamante in the queue. Yes. Why not allow him to go that he will come? No, no, I don't. I see, politics has nothing like queue. For instance, I became a member of parliament within less than two years. But I can tell you, people have become members of parliament for years, and what I've been able to bring, the innovations and the dynamism and the enthusiasm I've brought into, differs from that. Dr. Baumia, can even come late, but it's about within the shortest period of time what he's been able to do. I'm not saying Honorable Alaji Colon Chamanti has not done, he's done a lot for Madagascar, but I believe in my own conviction that Dr. Baumia is has a competitive ad advantage in terms of, of how he's going to win and we breaking the eight, pulling some numbers that are floating voters that would come on board to win. And if you say the queue, Dr. Kunedo Apreku contests with the President Kufo and Nanado. Years back, I'm talking about Kunedo Apreku. So if you say Q, then Dr. Kunedo Apreku is also senior than Dr. Alan Chamati. Because you know it, that he has been there 92, 96, 98. So it's not about who comes, the first, the last can be first. So let us look at whatever we And I believe Dr. Alan, Mr. Alan Chamanti would also be somebody who will help us break the eight. But for now, I feel that my support for Dr. Baumia is on, on principle, mm -hmm. and I believe that I, I and even I, I don't feel shy to say mm -hmm. I'm supporting Dr. Baumia. Mm -hmm. But even if my late father was alive, obviously would have supported Dr. Uh, Baumia. Mm -hmm.